better to check for creepy crawlies in the shoes. You never know. Right. Good morning. It is 5.30 a.m. And you probably can't see me right now because it's pitch black. Uh, but it's gym time. It's Sunday morning and I'm still getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, to get make sure I get my workout in. We've still got a busy day today, but glad to be here. So today we thought we would give you all a little bit more insight into, I suppose, a bit of a day in the life. We've got a lot going on. It's a kind of mixture of work and chill day. Um, so a bit more, I suppose, leisure activities today. Um, and we're also gonna talk a little bit about the other stuff that we have going on that's not necessarily related to this resort. Um, so last time we talked about the main reason that we're actually here. Um, but on top of that, we still have our own projects and businesses going on as well. So we're gonna be talking about that and, giving you a bit of insight into all the other work that we're doing right now. Uh, but first, 5.30 a.m., it's my time to hit the gym. Well, the, this is the old gym that I'm gonna be training in. So as I mentioned last time, we're building a gym um, at the resort. But for the time being, we're training in the old gym. Here's the beauty, here she is. It's simple, but it does the job right now. I'm having this wall painted at the moment to jazz it all up a little bit, but they ran out of paint and they cracked my fucking mirror, which I'm pissed off about. Uh, but yeah, here it is. It's good enough, it's better than training in the back garden at home right now. And this, this is what lockdown in the UK has done to me. This is what I'm lifting at the moment, which is pretty unacceptable. I have no idea what the bar slash rail weighs on this, but it's pretty accurate to, a, to an Olympic bar, I would say. So I'd say it's close, to, close enough to 80 kg, but still, that should be at least 100. Disappointed. We have a visitor in the gym today. Hey, mate. I think it's your set. Come on, lad. Let's go! Powered by Beyond Clothing Co. Plug. <laughs> Version 2.0 is coming. All right, all right. That was a pretty quick session this morning uh, because Ina wants to do the coastal walk. Basically, during low tide here, you can walk all the way around to uh, the main beach. So you go past sort of several bays and like, it's a nice walk through all the tidal pools and things like that. Cause the low, high to low tide here, the difference is massive. So. High tide, you can only access the small beach. Um, and then low tide, literally, yeah, you can walk around the entire coast. It's very, very beautiful. I think she's gonna try and take the GoPro. So you guys should see that. Um, so yeah, so I've, that was a quick 40 minute blast. Now I'm gonna do a quick swap with Ina and she can do her walk. Uh, and then we'll crack on with the day. Still love this little walk back to our house every day. A little bit different to the council estate we were living on in Northampton. Just a little bit. And back to our little house. Listen to the sounds of Kenya. 
Oh, somebody's taking down coconuts. So today, I see Adam's already started the vlog. Um, I'm doing a coastal walk, which you can only do when the tides are low. So this morning the tides are low and um, it's 6.30 a.m. I'm going to do a quick walk there with Phoebe and then basically take you along um, the rest of the day. It's so cool. holding on your head <laughs> so the beaches here have been absolutely incredible um, on multiple occasions we're the only people on the beach watching the sunset and check this out no one here I mean it is pretty early but um, still it's nice this for a sunrise <laughs> Malia what are these? Superhero Your superhero sweets you have them every day why? Because we go to bed <laughs> But do these make you super strong? Yeah, and super healthy. Yeah. So we try and give her these uh, kids multivitamins. They're pretty legit, uh, and they taste good as well. They're these little. They're like little. Uh, what do they call them? Like gummy things. You like them, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Gummies. Ready for breakfast? What are we having today? Breakfast. No. What are, you, what are you having for breakfast? What do you want for breakfast? Pancakes. Pancakes. That sounds like a very good idea. Can I have pancakes too? No. No, why? What shall I have? You can't have pancakes because you've not got the unicorn on your t-shirt. Because I don't have a unicorn on my t-shirt. <coughs> mm, you are correct. I do not have a unicorn on my t-shirt. That's why you can't have some pancakes. Okay. Logic, I like it. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Very well, um, are we going? <laughs> Mommy tell you. Where are we going now? What's the plan? So, we're going to go to Papa Remo. Is it Remo? Yeah, Remo, Remo, whatever. Remo. Yeah. Yeah, Papa um, Remo. Seven Islands, cool beach. Play a little bit. Then we need to do some. We need to find an ATM that actually works. Well, I'm pretty sure that other one worked, but I'll no, just I'll no, prove no, you wrong. No, I'll prove no. you wrong it today. Had a blank screen. Uh huh. Sure, sure. Um, okay. Top up phones and that kind of stuff. So just a chill day, and then I'm making smoothie bowls later. Mm hmm. Okay. Why is it called Seven Islands, by the way? Because it has seven islands. Okay. I was trying Are you to. Testing? I was trying to catch you out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't cool. Maybe <clears throat> gave me a. Uh, a breakdown. A okay, sweet. But, it's, but the beach just has a little bit of water. Just has a little bit of water. Yeah, that was right. Yeah, but we're going to a different beach today. Yeah. Yeah. With lots of water and lots of islands. Are you excited? Yeah. And hopefully some children. <laughs> <laughs> now she's excited. She's craving friends right now, aren't you? You want to find some friends? And she is. Every night during sunset, we go to the beach and we find new friends, don't we? <laughs> yeah, apparently coming to Kenya has made her desperate for friendship. Never mind the fact she's never been bothered about it, but she comes out here and she's like, I want friends! Where's my friends? Every child she sees is like, do they want to be my friend? <laughs> don't forget me! I'm coming!
All right, so last time we talked about what brought us out here, mm -hmm. but we didn't really touch on everything else that's going on in the background, right? Well, let's start with who are you wearing? Same as the last vlog, oh, okay. who are you wearing? <laughs> All right, so this is the Young Clothing Co now, instead of the old brand, which was My Mantra Active. Um, I do, I'm just sorry, uh, uh, hopefully, no, I'm trying to, no, it's more trying to stop the wind going over the microphone, uh -huh. so hopefully by me doing this, people can actually hear us. Okay, cool, I'm sure people can hear anyway. Um, so yeah, the rebrand happened uh, in September. Yeah, we did the shoot in August, didn't we? Yeah, so that's, don't even know what month we were in. Uh, that's we're like in Feb now. Four, like... four months later. Um, so that's one of the projects that we're working on. Um, we left the fulfillment side of things with someone else, uh, but everything else is happening online. So basically everything, <laughs> everything that requires this business to run. Um, we've got a, uh, a new collection that's launching um, in March. Some this bikini actually. Just the top, the bottoms are mixed from something else, like a different bikini. Um, so this is going to launch on pre-order in tomorrow. <laughs> this one is called Dark Jungle, Dark right? Dark Jungle, yeah. So they're coming on like high waist. Zoom in on your breasts. Uh, they're coming on high waisted. Uh, they're coming with high waisted um, bikini bottoms. Uh, that nice. one will actually, I, I will use this bikini for like really active outdoorsy things like you know for example in the past when we did the escapes we used to have to like jump off boats into the sea and stuff so it's you need to make sure that you're supported in this don't I want no nip, no nip slip <laughs> no i wear this with like everything now like shorts and all sorts so it's a nice little all round yeah i can't move i'm i'm straddling i'm straddling a bench right now so i can't <laughs> move around you you're gonna have to to, to show me mm. but yeah so that's that, and then we're launching uh, our spring summer collection in March. Yes. So a few more weeks. We're, we're sending the stuff to um, Marbella, Spain, uh, connected with a travel girl, and she'll be shooting that there. Then we're going to send the collection over to ourselves to Kenya. Pretty happy with this new one, right? For more content, yeah. With the new collection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's kind of the vision, the the future vision of the brand. It was kind of hard to really portray the, the feel and the energy that we wanted to get across with, from, from the brand when we were confined to the UK in what was approaching winter. So we had and to lockdowns. go, yeah, lockdown. So we had to go for more of a like kind of hoodie vibe throughout the winter, uh, which was fine. And, and shot we, in Wales. Yeah, we? shot in moody Wales. Like, it, <laughs> it was, was cool. raining the whole weekend. It was cool, but it wasn't what we wanted the brand to be. Now that we're, the sun is starting to shine again and we're in a location where we can put stuff out there, we feel like we can pump more light, more colour into the brand. So we've got some cool things that are, that are coming out. They continue. So yeah, essentially the vision of the brand going forward is, you know, adventure it's travel -y, it's like just good vibes, just happy, good vibes. Hashtag good vibes only. And um, I think with the new content that we're going to create in Spain and here, um, the, the Instagram page, all the social content, the website, the products themselves are going to be very different. So I look forward to that. Okay, cool. Now shut up, let's enjoy some sunshine. Talk to me. About what? About the Wait. There's breadsticks coming. Yeah, that's it. I can get involved with that. Get the carbs in. Mm. So, project number two. So obviously we've spoken about the clothing line. Next up is going first, back. First of all, can I just ask? Yeah. Is the Beyond, what's what's happening with the Beyond Fit? Why are you asking me that? I don't know, just cause like, I feel like some people are confused as to whether that's still a thing or not. 
but I guess this is where I'll talk about yeah. the transition from Beyond Fit to yeah, what it actually really. became. So Beyond Fit was us sort of trying to fill a hole that, you know, when, when gyms first closed during the initial lockdown, we were essentially out of the job. It was like, okay, how can we still give value to people when we're locked in our homes? So we started Beyond Fit, started filming workouts and things like that to try and put something out there for people. Um, the reality is some people found it useful, but the amount of time and effort that we were putting into it versus the traction that it was picking up was just not worth really sticking with at that point. So Beyond Fit is kind of on ice, um, but there is going to be a transition, which I think Ina will talk about. Um, and we are focusing our attention more towards, A, the clothing line, like we just spoke about, or like Ina spoke about. Um, and going back to our, I suppose, back to our roots, you could call it, um, and putting on escapes again. Uh, the only problem with that is the current climate doesn't means, allow it <laughs> means that it's more just a, it's not a case of if it's a case of just when yeah. um, so, so we've we've we're putting the wheels in motion or well, the wheels are firmly in motion we're ready we're just waiting for the world to be ready basically um, so we'll be running escapes again uh, is Kenya one of the locations Kenya will be one of the locations um, which is another reason that we're here just you know if we can improve the offering that is here already and then physically bring people out here, it's just going to be next level. Yeah, so I guess we'll just go with the flow and see what happens in 2021. At the moment, yeah. like Right now, nothing really is happening. So 2021 seems like it might be a write-off. Not even so much. I mean, even if, if any location is going to work in 2021, it's going to be here in Kenya. open the borders in the UK and let people travel, which at the moment is doubtful, but if they do, Kenya is quite an easy location for people to get to and for us to run the escape in uh, with, with limited restrictions. Um, Thailand, which is where we initially have, we've provisionally put an escape on in April, uh, in August in Thailand, um, currently you have to you have to isolate in Thailand for two weeks, quarantine for two weeks before you're even allowed out of your hotel. So right now, essentially, we're waiting. It's a waiting sure. game to just yeah. We're watching, right? Yeah, just. waiting, watching, and as soon the second we can, something will we'll put something on. Um, so, so the website. Yeah. So the website. We're, we've gone through a bit of a. <laughs> we were, we were going to go try and keep things in line with the Beyond name, um, but frankly we felt that it didn't quite sum up us and what we're about. So right now the website is wherenextescapes.com. Uh, where next is a little slogan that we've been using for some time and, and the Instagram handle Nina and I have both got tattooed on my wrists um, there you, it's not focused but it's there uh, where next escapes .com yeah. is going to be the escape and the Instagram handle and the Instagram handle is where next at where next escapes uh, right same where next escapes yeah, where next yeah. Escapes. it's the same where website same handle where next escapes where next escapes where next escapes and Remember this it. hasn't actually been made official on Where next? our Instagram, so it'll be interesting to see the traction we get from the YouTube video. So this is yeah. video number three, hey? Video number from three. From Kenya. It's sort of a bit of a day in the life slash look at how busy we are. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, today is Sunday, we're filming a little bit, but essentially we've got one more thing to talk about and we'll wrap things up for the day, yeah? yeah, yeah. Let's have some lunch. Well, and I have to make some smoothie bowls, so that's next. Okay, so we're back in our little house. Usually, the four o'clock, four o'clock, there's a serious crash, and that is, is it. This is that crash. 
I now have to go and do some work. Look, there's some scissors. Look, there's some scissors. Cut mommy's hair off. Ay! <laughs> no, don't touch my hair. Um, but, yeah, chat about the last thing. So we spoke about two... But <laughs> we do with those scissors. <laughs> okay, we need to we, take these away. We spoke about two of our personal projects that are going on at the moment. The third and final... We need to take these off first, wait. Uh, okay. Okay. The third and final project is Ina's online personal training. My scissors. Your scissors. Which she is currently doing. <laughs> <sighs> this is not happening. It's fine. This is family life right now. <laughs> so Ina's got a, a core collective of clients that she trains on a one-to-one -one basis at the moment. Um, which we're looking at potentially scaling, aren't we? So that yeah, well, as is with with everything, you know, it's about the process and mm. kind of seeing what works and how things go and those kind of things. But yeah, right now, I um I have a select number of clients that I work I with one to one. Uh, I am still welcoming a few more people on board, so if anyone's interested, holla at me. Um, but um, other than that, yeah, we're just seeing how things go. There's a new website that he's built. He's very good at building building websites, by the way. That's the, we're good at building brands. That's the fourth one, actually. So I'm doing a little bit of web ah. development, casual web development. For those people that want it, I've got a website. I guess that's another thing that we're also doing. Yeah, I've got a website that I'm building in the moment for somebody. So if you're out there, if you have a small personal business or a small e-commerce business or something like that. What? You are getting me cooling down. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm moving too much. That's why. She's trying to balance the unicorn, annoyed, aren't we? By the way. Anyway, yeah, take the unicorn so if you have a small shop or business, and you're looking for a, a website um, you know I'm not a coder I'm not someone that's gonna be able to do like crazy crazy things I can make a nice clean but you work with themes don't yeah, you? So I, like for example we've got the experience of working with Shopify and, and Squarespace. Um, Squarespace so Squarespace is more visual Shopify is products um, so Beyond Clothing Co is on Shopify the escapes are on Squarespace my personal training is on Squarespace too. Squarespace, yeah. Um, so if it's something visual like photography or um, yeah, stuff like like or like a service, they're usually quite good for um, Squarespace. Whereas yeah. Shopify is if you've Even got lots small, of uh, products small e to sell. Small e-commerce businesses are fine for Squarespace as well. Um, but it's yeah, only when you get products, onto the yeah. big scale e-commerce stuff, then you're looking more Shopify. Anyway. If anyone needs a website, I'm here, I'm doing it. We like to keep busy. Yeah, uh, why not? And there was a random little clip in there with me chopping some bananas. Sorry, that's not just like, it looked really like random. I'm making smoothie bowls for the breakfast menu for the resort as well. So that's just one more thing. Cause that you know, doing. we don't like to have time to like actually have a relationship or be a family. <laughs> We just, any spare time that we have, we fill with stuff. We make sure that, that we're always filling our time so that we don't ever have to acknowledge the fact that our relationship is basically over. Mm. Um. We're actually not together anymore. <laughs> this is just like faking. Um, so yeah, but no, we've, that's our day. That's our stuff going on, as you can tell. Yeah, we like to keep ourselves busy. This is what we do. This is how we do what we are doing and how we're able to be out here. Um, so I guess maybe this is one for like uh, uh, we've had people ask how did you create this opportunity or these opportunities this is like this is a long stop. topic <laughs> we don't I feel stop. like this is one for the next <laughs> vlog yeah. but if you guys have any topic suggestions as well we would like them I think next Sunday maybe we'll film like an adventure day out yeah so. comment if, if there's something that you'd like to see about life in Kenya or comment and we'll try and get it in there if you've got questions a topic of a vlog if like someone wants anything. to sponsor us to go on safari Ooh, for a few yes. days <laughs> just we don't take money it's gonna be worth <laughs> a, a thousand pound investment oh. 
she would not appreciate a single second of it. Um, but yeah, so next, well, like we're done here. We're That's done. It. We're this gonna probably end. end with some cool shots of Ina and Malia on the beach because I'm going sunset. to work. So they're gonna go and chill and watch the sunset. I'm gonna pretend to work for a few hours just so I can get some chill time. Um, <laughs> No, I've got a lot to do. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully this gave some insight into not just what we've been doing here, but what we are generally doing in our brains and with our bodies and our hearts and our energy constantly. Uh, we're busy. Very. So but, this ain't a holiday. <laughs> yeah. It's nice though. We're happy though. Hmm? <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. See you later. Yeah.